you guys welcome back to Mesa's life in today's video I'm going to do a review of my Louis Vuitton Neveful GM so I've had it for a little over a year now and I've been using it every single day so I'm going to do some pros and cons of um, this bag and if you guys are interested in me purchasing a dupe Neverfull and comparing both of them from Amazon, I will definitely do that. Just leave it in the comments below if you guys are interested in seeing a video like that. I will definitely do it. Um, I am kind of looking at a couple on Amazon currently and um, reading reviews and stuff. I just kind of want to get the best quality one. Um, and yeah, so if you guys would like to see a video like that, please, please, please let me know. So let's get into this video. So I have the Eben um, print with the red interior. So let me tell you why I went and got the GM size. So there is three different sizes. There is a PM, which is the smallest. There's an MM, which is the medium, and then the GM, which is the biggest one. So, and there's three different prints as well. There is the Demi Eben, this brown checkered with um, the light brown and dark brown. And then there is the Azure, I believe, and that is the white checkered one. And then there's also just the regular um, monogram print. So the reason why I went with this one is because I just loved, loved the print of this one. And um, I've purchased Louis Vuitton in the past. Um, before I got married, I had two full-time jobs. I'm a dental assistant and I babysat four girls as well. So I saved, saved, saved my money to get what I wanted basically. So I purchased a couple Louis Vuittons and I love them, but they're just really pricey, you guys. Really, really pricey. And I was what? 19 20 21 and i'm like yay louis vuitton i could afford it one two three let me just go spend my money on louis vuitton that's exactly what i did you guys i had a speedy i had multiple wallets i had i, I had a lot i had um a lot so i sold i want to say about 75 percent of them just because i am a mama now of two little boys um one is 19 months one is seven months old so they're just more important to me than all of this um luxury stuff um uh, materialistic stuff so you guys have seen my videos I do do Amazon dupes and I love doing those for you guys and it's more of a cheaper route and the quality of 90% of them is amazing. So I did just want to do a video of the real thing and later on if you guys are interested I'll definitely do the dupe one and compare them and see if you guys really need to go spend this type of money for the real one or just get one for 50 60 bucks and you're gonna get the same quality maybe i don't know but anyway so there is three different sizes three different designs so i picked the demi air eben and it is big you guys like it's huge it's huge so i actually sold my speedy bag just because it wouldn't carry all my diapers all my bottles all that stuff in it because i have two boys in bottles two boys in diapers and we go out as a family a lot so it wouldn't fit all my stuff in it so i ended up selling that to get this so 
that's why I got such a big bag because it is my everyday bag. It is my everyday diaper bag. I do have a video of what's in my diaper bag. If you guys are inter interested, I will definitely leave that in the description box below. And it just shows you what I carry every day in the bag. Um, I did empty it out for you guys so I can do this video. But, so, love this bag. Is it too big? At times, I think to myself, yes, it is too big. At times, I'm like, oh my God, it's too small. I have too much stuff that I need to put in here. Anyways, um, it's huge. <laughs> um, the thing about this is you can kind of make it into like another bag. Here, let me do that real quick for you guys. So you just push this in all the way so just like that and you can do it on the other side just like that so it's kind of a different shape bag and it kind of makes it a little smaller I have never worn it like this only because my bag is full most of the time and inside I do have an insert just to keep my bag clean on the bottom I have snacks thrown in here all the time and stuff so pros the size is good for me okay another pro is it comes with a little wristlet you guys which is perfect you're getting two for the price of one this I bought it for I want to say 1300 I know that's a crazy amount. I know it's crazy, but 1300 But don't forget, I sold a purse to get this purse. I don't didn't have $1,300 to go spend on a purse. But, so it comes with a little clutch, which is perfect. Because if I'm not taking the boys with me, I'm, if I'm going to run errands, going grocery shopping, stuff like that, I just grab this and head out. Um, another thing, if you're in the mall or anything like that and you don't want anyone there is shoplifters all over so always be aware of your surroundings it comes apart like this and there is a little loop right here so I am going to hook that in here for you guys and it's not going anywhere because I keep my wallet in here I keep my coin um coin wristlet thing in here so I got this actually as a birthday present when I was like 18 so I still have this since then um and then I also have my little um Louis Vuitton little wallet that I got off a of fashion file so I did not pay full price for this and so yeah so the inside of it is really nice it's the same print as the purse and it has one little pocket right here so, that is an amazing pro to this purse. Another thing is it does have a pocket back here as well. And it's a very deep pocket. So, I put, you know, feminine products back there and little things that I, you know, don't use all the time. And important things as well because it is hidden. It is hard to get to. Um, another pro, like I said, it does cinch in, so you kind of have two bags in one as well, which is nice. Um, another pro is the straps. It's not too big of a strap, but it's perfect, so you guys can just hold it in. This is what I do when I I'm out and about so nobody can like really stick their hand in here and get anything. So there's a bunch of pros to this. A lot of people use this as a diaper bag. I use it as a diaper bag. But there are a couple cons to this. So one, the price is crazy. Two, no zipper. There's no zipper. And that was one of the things that I'm like, oh, do I want to get this purse? I'm really, I really, really like the zippers in purses, obviously. But 
it just has a little clip that clips it shut. So I don't know. You can do that. Um, you can always, if you guys are out and about in the airport or anything like that, is cinch it in on one side. So they literally cannot get in here and you have full access to this side of the purse. So that's just a con that there's no zipper. But my purse is stuck to me when I go out. I never let, I never put it on the floor. I never keep it out of my sight. Nothing like that. Um, another con is, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I fill this up to the max. Bottles with water in it. A crap load of snacks because my son gets annoyed with one snack at a time. He needs multiple different snacks when we're out and about. And because of how thin the shoulder straps are, it tends to dig into my shoulder. It hurts. It really hurts. So that is definitely a con. I do not like that. Um, my husband carries my purse for me probably 75% of the time just because it is so heavy. Um, I honestly, I really wanted to get the Louis Vuitton backpack just because I heard they're so durable and everything like that, but they were, it's just so crazy expensive. It's crazy expensive, you know? So I just didn't go that route. I went this route. It's a perfect size and everything, but you know. What are you going to do? So, yeah, there's not a lot of cons to this except for it. It's just really expensive. There's no zipper. Um, the heaviness of it when it does have a lot of stuff in it. Right now, it has nothing in it. It's very, very light. So, this is perfect. There's nothing in here. And, um, but when I start putting all my stuff in there... It gets heavy and I just second guess myself like was it worth it was it worth it buying a purse for that much money and I go back and forth sometimes I really do maybe a month in or two months in I was like why did I wait so long now I can't return the bag <laughs> honestly you guys dead dead honest and my husband's like, we can't return it now. You, we can't. And I'm like, I know, I know. I just, and that's just how I am. If I go buy something, I'm like so excited to buy it. And then at the end, maybe two weeks later or something, I'm like, I'm so over this. I am so over this. But I got really used to it. Like I said, I've been carrying it for over a year now. And I love it. Love it. Um... But, but I did spend a lot of money on it. It is expensive, but it's an investment. Okay. It's an investment. So Louis Vuitton is known for two bags, their speedy bag and their never full bag. Okay. So these will never go out of style. They're always going to be trendy and stuff like that. So this is an investment for me. When my kids get older and I don't need such a big bag, I can always sell it for close to the price that I bought it for because they are always going to be popular. So that's another reason why I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to use it. And if I ever want to sell it, it's going to be sold like that, like that, you guys, it's going to sell so fast. Just like I sold my speedy bag literally in a day. It sold so fast. So I'm telling you, it's a great investment. And it's a great product for me because of me having two little ones. It does fit a full size laptop in it, planner in it. You can fit your whole life in here. That's why I love it because I could just keep throwing things in here. It's called a never full. Like it literally fits the name. But it's pricey. It's pricey. Um, would I go back and not buy it? 
I don't know. I go back and forth on that question. But I am very curious to see if the Amazon dupe one compares to this one. So with that being said, please, please, please comment down below if you guys would like to see that video. Please consider subscribing if you guys like this type of content. Um, and please click that like button so I know that you guys like this type of video. And yeah, just I am so grateful for everyone that is subscribing to my channel. You guys don't understand how happy and giddy I get to see my number go up and up daily. It just makes me so happy. I'm a beginner. I've only been doing this for about a month and a half, two months or something. And I strive to make the best content for you guys. I am doing this stuff at two, three o'clock in the morning. That's when I have time. Like I said, I have two little ones and my life is quite crazy. Um, and it just puts the biggest smile on my face when I see you guys comment to me and all that stuff. It just makes me really happy and I am very grateful for everyone out there. And anyone that's watching this and is not yet subscribed, just please consider subscribing. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. And I have been doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the dot since I started. If I ever do miss a video, it's because, you know, I just couldn't. One of my kids are sick or something like that. You know, life happens. But it might not be a video about dupes or Amazon or anything like that. It might just be a fun video of me and my family or me cooking or baking because I love cooking and baking for my husband and my kids. So with that being said... Thank you so, so much for being a part of Mesa's life. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.